All right. Hi, I'm here with John Jacobs, co-founder of Life is Good. Thank you so much for taking some time to chat with me today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So um, what are some of the tips that you give to entrepreneurs who are out there looking to start businesses? Well, I think a lot of people, sometimes they, they feel like they have to have this super refined business plan. They spend four or five years on it. And a big part of our message is to get out there and try things. We had really no idea what we were doing and where we were going early in our business, but we knew what we loved to do. Do what you love, and love what you do is something we believe in. We like to travel, to draw, to meet people. So we just got out there on the streets and then traveling around in a van selling shirts, but it really can apply to whatever it is that that uh, makes your heart sing, that, right. that excites you. And you learn, even if you fail a hundred times, and we failed a thousand times running through those dorms, trying different things, right. different sayings, different graphics, different places to sell. But every time we heard no, it forced us to adjust our game. Right. And we grew a little bit smarter and a little stronger from that. So learn getting out there, doing. yeah, learn by doing. And, and also another big one is, you know, find a cause you believe in. Oftentimes you think you got to make it financially before you get involved in uh, a cause of some sort. And from day one, we've been trying to give a percentage, and, and we really did out of the gate, um, to the Children's Hospital and then other causes that meant something to us. Right. And it's it's it helps inspire you to get back out there after a tough day. Right say, I'm not just here to make money. And it, it guides you and lifts you along the way. So, you know, attach yourself to something meaningful early on. That's really great to align yourself with a charity cause. So that's good. What would you say is your number, was your number one challenge in getting started? Uh, I would say the getting comfortable with no and with failing and realizing that we weren't brilliant businessmen. <laughs> But use your strengths. You know, we love to talk to people and we love to travel. So, you know, again, try, 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 try. And eventually, after five and a half years, we hit on something that resonated with people. And that was life is good. Before that, it was a lot of stuff that didn't click. Right. And um, so, the, yeah, the challenge was the nuts and bolts of business. And we still continue to make mistakes today. But we landed on something that is way more powerful than us in our company, it's a message of life is good and the world needs optimism, even in the hardest times, wartime, when the economy tanks, uh, natural disasters, people gravitate toward the positive. Right. And if you can be part of that energy, people are always going to want to come to you and collaborate with you. And that's what we're finding now, that it's far beyond my brother and I, it's much smarter people coming and working with us to help us grow the brand. No, oh, that's wonderful. So as a woman's blogger, I just have to ask, what was your reason for wanting to be a part of the Massachusetts Conference for Women? Well, I know how progressive and uh, innovative and positive this group is. I'd heard from many people and I was lucky enough to get an invite. And midway through my speech, I was still like, I can't believe I got in here. It was we'll let the man astounding. in. I said, I've done, I've done a bit of cross-dressing once in a while, you know, in road races and stuff, but I don't know how the heck I got in the door. But uh, seriously, I, I am so inspired. I have a little daughter who's two and a half, and I hope that she grows up to embody a lot of the values that come out of this about self-reliance, balance with leaning on your community, and um, really taking ownership of your life and your choices. And that's a lot about what our brand is. So uh, it seemed like a very natural match. Yeah, no, you're very inspirational. So thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. Thank you. Thank you very much.